Tonight, President Trump getting a first-hand look at the crisis on our southern border just hours ago in McAllen, Texas. But Democrats back in Washington, they're still refusing to negotiate on any kind of funding for a border wall, which President Trump says is absolutely necessary to head off another major caravan heading straight for our border. Watch them here. There is another major caravan forming right now in Honduras. And so far, we're trying to break it up. But so far, it's bigger than anything we've seen. And a drone isn't going to stop it. And a sensor isn't going to stop it. But you know what's going to stop it? In its tracks, a nice, powerful wall. As we've been reporting right here, this is not just a humanitarian crisis, which it is. It's very much a financial one. Each migrant that we detain and we house right here in the United States is costing us $126 per day. That's $2 billion a year that we're spending trying to care for these people. And the cost of border security, $22 billion. Now, that doesn't even include all the money that's going towards the legal fees for courts that are handling these asylum cases. It doesn't cover any of the costs associated with illegal immigrants that are committing crimes elsewhere in the country. So we do indeed have a financial crisis and a humanitarian one. Joining me right now, Texas Congressman Roger Williams. Congressman, good to have you here. Good to be with you. Walk me through the economics of this uh, in terms well, of what it's really costing American taxpayers. Do they need to care not just because of the threat of people coming here and you know potentially not being the kind of people that we want here in America? Uh, you've heard the president refer to criminals, et cetera but also just because of the fact that we can't quite handle it from a, a welfare perspective here. It's too much money out of our pockets. Well, it is. And, I mean, you put some numbers together that were very appropriate. I mean, the, f the fact of the matter is uh, that uh, these folks coming over, if we let them in, are going to cost us money, and they bring no income to the, to the formula. They're, a, they're an expense. And uh, that's why the $5.7 billion the president talks about is a lot of money. But it's also a drop in the bucket to, to number one, the budget, and what it's going to cost if we have to uh, take care of those that come in illegally and uh, take our services and, and so forth in our, our courts. So the 5.7 represents a pretty good return on investment from what we could have uh, if we don't invest in a barrier like the President's talking about. You know, it's incredible, though, is... Um the sort of about face, if you would, in the Democratic Party. I want to play this clip, and I keep promising the viewer I'm going to keep playing it, and I'm going to keep yeah. playing it, and I'm going to keep playing it as long as this <laughs> shutdown goes on, because there was a time when Democrats felt very differently. In fact, they talked about a border fence at yeah. one point in time. Let's roll the tape. It is wrong and ultimately self-defeating for a nation of immigrants to permit the kind of abuse of our immigration laws we have seen in recent years, and we must do more to stop it. We simply cannot allow people to pour into the United States undetected, undocumented, unchecked. We do not want to do anything to encourage more illegal immigration into this country. The American people are fundamentally pro-legal immigration and anti-illegal immigration. We will only pass comprehensive reform when we recognize this fundamental concept. <laughs> and bear with me, because I got one more. I got one more. Uh, it, it was as though President Trump could have said this, except it was President Obama. Watch, sir. We now have an actual humanitarian crisis on the border that only underscores the need to drop the politics and fix our immigration system once and for all. Yeah. Let's drop the politics. Let's fix it. But part of that, Congressman, the president says, is getting the wall. Why won't Democrats meet him halfway on this? Well, that's a great question. I mean, it's ter totally turned political. I mean, they're, they're worried about their political future instead of America's future. And it's President Trump is the president. I mean, they just don't want him to succeed. But we've got to, uh, you know, we've got to have them come to the table. Uh, in, in business or anything, you negotiate every single day. The president's laid his uh, his product out on the uh, on the table, and they need to come and, and negotiate. I mean, that's why that's why uh, people are not getting paid. Uh, that's it's because they just won't come and negotiate, and it has to happen. And if it doesn't, uh, then we'll we'll see what the next step is. But th they th they need to respond, and they've made it a political situation. They're holding America hostage. They're even holding those uh, that are coming up from the borders hostage, and uh, it's just wrong. And I think at the end of the day, the American public will see the light.
So does this just go on now and on and on? I mean, the president's not backing down. No, and, no. and I think they kind of feel like, hey, we got the upper hand here because they now control the House and, and they're, they're just refusing to budge. Well, they are, and I think, though, that it's going to come back because I don't know that you could say they have the upper hand. I think they do, but at the end of the day, the president's going to be able to uh, declare an emergency. I don't necessarily mm -hmm. uh, right now support that. I mean, I, I represent he Fort Hood, Texas, he mm -hmm. uh, but he could do it if he had to, and if, if that's what it takes to, uh, to build a barrier and get uh, our sovereignty protected and those people that uh, want to do it the right way. We want people to come into America, come through the ports of entry, do it the right way, but not the way we see it happening with these uh, caravans. Thank you so much. Congressman Williams, good to have you here tonight. Thank Appreciate you. It.